Oh shit. What's up? <laughs> I didn't see you there. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Cringe, right? Maybe. Who cares? It's alright if it's cringe. Alright, so. I guess in what's now become my sort of almost daily check in, I wanted to talk about a little something, which is working out or exercising. Um, I just finished working out for the first time and maybe, I mean, honestly, like over the past three years, I've worked out maybe like a handful of times. So it's not something I really do, but it's most definitely something I really used to do. And so I really wanted to just talk about working out and um, my experience with it. Um, and so I guess I'll just jump into it because it's been a kind of tumultuous experience. Um, so the reason I want to talk about working out, or I guess more so the reason I worked out recently, um, my family dog passed away and that was about 10 or so days ago. And just a few days ago, a really close friend of mine, um, passed away as well. And so yesterday I went to her memorial like online um, and it was really tough really sad really painful but really healing as well and um, it's just been a rough really past few weeks past few months and it's been a lot of problems a lot of tension and um, yeah it's just kind of been piling on but I think I'm handling it pretty well and um, as I was walking out to my towards my my spot that I usually record at a rock over here <laughs> I was walk as I was walking over I, I came out with my headphones today and I felt like listening to my favorite album which is a uh, war of being by Tesseract and as I was listening I was kind of getting hyped I was getting excited and I just felt this urge to like just lift some shit, you know, like just work out, just do something. And there's like a lot of outdoor gyms here in, in China. And so I just started doing what I could, really, just doing whatever. Um, I couldn't, I mean, I didn't really even try. <laughs> I assumed that I couldn't do a push up, um, at least not like a normal plane push up. So I just met myself where I'm at. I'm ex I accepted where I'm at and I did what I could. So I was doing like incline push-ups um, against like a bar. I was doing some sit-ups, um, some, I can't do pull-ups, but I was just kind of hanging on the bar and all this stuff. And it was great. I actually feel really good. And I'm really glad I did it. And it really reminded me of how far I've come because just a few months ago I would have been and back when I used to work out I would be very in my head at times I would be really worried about people judging me and like looking silly looking weird I wouldn't want to like sing or like make noise I would feel just really awkward just really self-conscious really and I mean this time I kind of didn't give a fuck <laughs> and that felt pretty great I was singing, I was humming, just getting into my music. Um, weren't too many people around or walking by, but a lot of people fishing and, and watching here in this like lake area I'm at. And um, I mean, by the end, as I was finished, a couple of them even came over to, to do a little, <laughs> a little pull, a few pull-ups themselves, which I, I like to think I inspired them or influenced them to give it a shot. But um basically yeah i mean i did what i could and i wasn't so worried anymore and that felt great because months ago i would be very self-conscious very in my head and years ago when i worked out 
I would have been too, honestly. And so the funny thing though is that I used to be very big into fitness, very big into working out. And I was really muscular, I was really well built, really aesthetic. I peaked in like, aesthetically, <laughs> I peaked in like um, 2018 maybe, 2019. I was like the lowest I ever weighed, like 180 pounds or something. I was really lean, pretty muscular. And I looked great, I was really confident back then. And you know, over the years, I continued working out. Um, and then things kind of started going to shit with, with COVID, quarantine era. Um, and I, I just kind of stopped working out. It kind of became like an excuse. With COVID, it was a lot harder too. So I was just like, oh, I'll just wait. I'll be fine. Like I've been really good at it. I've been consistent, like nothing will happen. I'll be chilling. I'll just pick it up in a few weeks or in a few months or whatever. But you know, that's always how it starts. Slowly, I started just getting into a lot of really bad habits. Um, I was ordering like takeout and eating a lot of food, drinking sodas, um, and just really not taking care of myself physically or mentally. And, you know, I paid the price. I, I hit rock bottom around like late 21. My relationship ended of multiple years. I was as like, overweight as hell the most i'd ever weighed in my whole life i used to be like at most like 220 225 and i ended at like 256 or 267 something absurd and so i was i was really really overweight and you know i realized at some point later that my relationship with working out was kind of unhealthy in some ways and you know I eventually did get back into it but you know how it is sometimes like <laughs> we do it for the wrong reasons and um, I remember working out and like I just had some pretty like negative self-talk and I was feeling like anxious and insecure and like I was texting my ex and shit and just like trying to like I don't know I, I guess in short it was a very egotistical thing I was doing. Like working out was very much ego centric. And I realized at some point later in retrospect that I mean a lot of why I worked out was from lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem. And you know, I remember it was, I felt this just very core anxiety um, regarding like romantic life, especially that I needed to look good. like. If I wasn't looking good, like my girlfriend would leave me, and you know, part of it too was also <laughs> my mom would actually say that sometimes, and I'm sure she had good intentions. She just wanted me to take care of my body, but you know, the things that people say can really fuck us up, especially if we already believe it. It just kind of acts as like a confirmation of what we're already believing, I think. And so, I guess, long story short, I you know, when I started dabbling and working out again, I realized like my relationship with working out was pretty shit, pretty terrible. And a lot of it had to do with a lack of self-worth, feeling like without working out, I was nothing. And, you know, I think I realized I was very outcome oriented. Like I placed my value in what I accomplished. And I think a lot of people are, um, whether that's work, we have or the job title we have the girlfriends <laughs> or like the <laughs> girls or guys that we've had sex with you know a lot of people have different metrics and you know that's just kind of how it is um, but and it, I think ultimately it's it's up to each of us to assess our own relationships with I mean the things we do in life right some people love work some people hate their work some people don't know whether they love or they hate it, or maybe they hate it, but they don't realize it, or they've given up trying to, trying to change that, trying to find something new. And I think it's the same with working out. I've talked with a friend about this once extensively, but at least from what I kind of felt like I was exposed to over the years, it seemed like, I mean, I think the fitness industry has always been a little fucked. <laughs> it's always been, it's, it's a 
it's a tough place. It's kind of a toxic place, I think. It feels like a lot of people kind of prey on the vulnerable, prey on the weak, and kind of want to, I don't know, they're just trying to make money off of you and they're, they're selling false promises and um, they're always saying like, oh, like my method works, like what I do is going to make you get a six pack in 90 days or you'll lose blah, blah, blah pounds. Like, look at this guy, like this guy did it in so and so time, like this and that, you know? And, you know, whether it's well-meaning or whether they're actually, it's, I'm, I'm sure there are scammers and stuff too, but I guess that's a bit of a, t <laughs> of a tangent, but that goes to say that, you know, people do things, people can do the same thing for different reasons. And there are a lot of people that probably are very well-meaning. Um, and really, I think it's up to each of us to evaluate for ourselves, like if our relationship with working out in this case is healthy and for me I realized at some point that it definitely wasn't and it actually kind of fucked me in some ways because I I would like lift too heavy I wouldn't like warm up and stretch properly I would just kind of I don't know feel this pressure and what, what what at one point was like very positive I mean it's not it's not that working out was always terrible I used to love it, it used to be a great great influence in my life and I used to have very positive self-talk and it, I loved how um, how empowering it was to kind of just slowly push yourself and accept yourself where you are because I think that's one of the beautiful things about working out in terms of like weightlifting, right? Um, because even if you want to lift 300 pounds, like you're limited to your body, right? You can't just lift 300 pounds quickly overnight um, or whatever it is you know whatever you want it takes time to get there and that's the beautiful thing I think it, it forces you to slow down and it forces you to accept yourself where you are and to build yourself up slowly and you know you start to see the progress and it really teaches really a lot of valuable lessons that I've been thinking about a lot and talking about a lot um, for example future you will thank you I think working out is a is a great example of that like what you're doing now in the present it's gonna suck maybe but you know in the future you'll realize like wow like that was so great like it it kind of sucked I suffered it was uncomfortable but like wow I feel amazing I'm so glad I did it um, my muscles are coming in like I'm looking big I'm feeling great blah blah you know and that is just such a strong and powerful lesson in life and one of my favorite lately, um, you know, do yourself, do something today that's hard and, you know, life will be easier tomorrow, um, type beat. <laughs> and yeah, and so I was kind of thinking with today, of, uh, after working out, I was kind of thinking like, damn, like, that was really nice. And, you know, I kind of need an outlet. I'm, I'm in a pretty rough spot in my life and it's been really tough. <laughs> And I've been taking it easy. I've been accepting myself where I'm at. Where I'm at. I've been trying to just allow myself to grief and and just do my best, really, because that's all we can do. I think it's very important to just accept ourselves and do our best. And you know, it's it's not bad to know where we want to go, but we have to accept that we can't get there overnight. We just do what we can, and um, and slowly improve. And so. I've kind of been, or as I was working out, I mean, I was considering like, wow, like this is pretty sick. Like, it's not like a crazy, it's not a gym or anything. It's really just some like metal bars and stuff outside, which is really common here in China. Um, and, you know, but it, it did the job. I did what I could with what I had. And that's really what it's all about. Like, just doing what you can with what you have. Like, I think a lot of times we get so stuck um, waiting for things to line up perfectly and we think like, oh, like I can't, I can't do this, I can't do X, I can't do Y, I can't do Z, because X, Y, Z, you know. And it's it's tough to get out of that, and you know, that's something that I've struggled with in the past, and it's kind of part of the reason why I wanted to make this channel and just start somewhere and just start doing shit, even like this, just talking. I mean, most of these videos get dog ass views, no one watches. <laughs> But um, it's for me, really, like it's helpful for me. And I'm sure at some point, you know, one of these is 
it might pick up traction at some point, hopefully. But I'm really doing it for me, and it's helpful. I'm, I'm an overthinker, I think a lot. It's helpful to just get out of my head, say what I'm thinking out loud, really just process my day, process the lessons that I've been learning, my experiences, and, and where I'm at, what I think about how I came here, and then think about thinking about, and I guess setting intentions for where I wanna go. And it's been great. I mean, I've really been enjoying it. And, um, you know, I, I want to share it so that other people can hopefully benefit from it, too. Um, but, yeah, and so I've been, I mean, now that I've done that workout, I kind of feel like getting back into it. Um, and I feel like, you know, I think I will. I'm going to. Um, but I want to approach it a little differently. I want to make sure that I'm not doing it for the wrong reasons and you know in my observations it, it seems like a lot of people do do it for the wrong reasons and I I've had some friends who are pretty pretty toxic and it's very competitive and they kind of just shit on you and are very negative and not supportive it's very much like just comparison it's, it's pure ego and you know you kind of see that more on like social media with the rise of like I don't know a lot of those I don't know if it's still a huge thing, probably, but a lot of those videos of people like filming, um, filming people working out because they think they look silly or they're doing something dumb or some weird exercise, or I mean, it's worse stuff, you know. Um, and you know, it's 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 sad to see because it's for a lot of people like going to the gym and getting started is a very they're at a board, very vulnerable point in their journey and you know it can be easy to feel discouraged and intimidated and you know i think we're all responsible for our own um approach to things and and i think i don't know it's it's complicated there's always that debate between like planet fitness where it's like oh no gym intimidation and then like other places and some people get really off the rockers about the no gym timid gym intimidation policies at planet fitness <laughs> but yeah i mean basically it's it's tough i mean we all start somewhere and we have to start somewhere and, um i'm feeling like starting up again but i want to make sure that i don't fall into those same traps again I don't wrap my self-worth for with how I look, with how I how chiseled I am or how much I weigh. Like I want to do it a little more casually for sure, but it's also just such a beautiful hobby to have in the sense that it teaches such valuable lessons and I think I could really benefit from um, really instilling those key core lessons of like, you know, accepting myself where I'm at and um, just progressing slowly, like being intentional about my goals, like what is it that I want, you know? Because that's ultimately what matters. Like even in me sharing my opinion, I mean, a lot of people aren't gonna agree and that's perfectly fine. Like we're all different, we all have different goals, different intentions and um, I guess for me, I just wanna make sure that it's not an ego thing. I'm not like shitting on other people. I wanna be positive this time around and, and be, inspiring and, and honest and just where I'm at. I'm not gonna try to be the best. I'm not gonna focus too much on looking amazing, um, but just the more relevant things to me, which would be like health and I think the, the lessons it teaches and and just having an outlet. I mean, it's, it's amazing as an outlet and it's actually how I got started in the first place because <laughs> um, in high school, my <laughs> Uh, there was this whole debacle and basically like I had a crush and she started dating a friend of mine um, <laughs> and um, you know I, I had a lot of bottled up emotions that I needed to process so I started working out and it was great I loved it um, and I, it all got started really from um, I got inspired by a friend of mine who had been working out for like six months and he decided to post his progress and you know we're never gonna we're never perfect we're never gonna reach perfection there's no such thing but to this day i credit my friend shout out uh or i'll, I'll tag him rev pulse i think is his youtuber right now. <laughs> um 
I mean, he posted his progress pic way, way back, and that was all I needed, man. Like, just seeing someone be vulnerable and, like, being honest and show where they started and how far they got in just, like, six months or something, you know? It was um, super powerful, and it inspired me. And he inspired a lot of people. And after inspiring me, I inspired a lot of people, and it's just this, this ripple effect um, in the most positive of ways. And so that's what I'm hoping to be as well. And, um, you know, I guess in general, I just want to talk about whatever I want on this channel, but um, I'm hoping that wherever I'm at in life and whatever interests me and I'm most passionate about, this channel can be the, the platform for all that and um, a place to inspire and be honest, really. Just, I guess really just that, just be honest about where I'm at, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, where I'm at. I already said that <laughs> and um, just hope that people resonate with it what more can I do than that so yeah I think it's time to get back on that gym gym hype or at least it doesn't even have to be gym it could be anything running swimming playing sports I mean it's all all very beneficial so I guess in short just keep be mindful of your relationship with these sort of things or anything really in your life and ask yourself why are you doing it what are the goals and if you're heading in the right direction amazing if you're heading in the wrong direction it's okay wherever you're at just accept yourself and evaluate where you're at evaluate where you want to go and let's get to it let's get going so yeah i think i'll end there and uh Maybe I'll do a push-up. Should I do a push-up? Let's, let's see if I can still do push-ups. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sore up here. Pretty absurd stuff, isn't it? All right, let's take a look. Oh. There you go, five push-ups. Do what you can, which is always more than we think. All right, I'm done. Thanks for watching, and take care, peace.